When we are adding mixed numbers, sometimes we need to regroup at the end of the problem. So uh, again, I want to look at my fraction part first. So I have a three-fifths and a four-fifths. So if I add those together, I will have seven-fifths. And then my whole numbers, eight plus five, is 13. So now I have 13 and seven-fifths. Here is where you want to check. Is it possible to have an improper fraction with a mixed number? No, we can't leave it that way. We always want to turn it back into um, a proper mixed number at the end. This 7 fifths, let me pull that aside just for a second. 7 fifths. I can't have that. I need to make it um, into a mixed number. So two ways you think of it. I either think of it as division, so 7 divided by 5, or I think how many holes can I pull out? So there was a already a video on this called converting improper fractions into mixed numbers. That's the video you want to go back and look at because that's exactly the process that we're doing. We're saying how many holes are there in here? So how do I represent a hole? Well, 5, 5 is one hole uh, plus what is the remaining part that makes up the 7? Another 2 fifths. So this right here is 7 fifths represented as one hole and two-fifths left over. So then I take this one and I give it to my whole number over here. That's kind of where the regrouping is happening, but it's going from the fraction back into the whole number. So now my final answer will be 14 and this leftover amount, which is two-fifths. Okay. And you will start to see shortcuts. You can probably do this part in your head where you think, well, I'm taking away a five-fifth. I'm taking away that one whole. How much is left over? Well, two-fifths is left over. Just don't forget to give your whole to that whole amount here. So uh, get some paper, write it down, because you can't learn it by watching. You have to learn it by doing. Um, and there's other ways you can do it. Here's just one thought process. So write it down first and try it. Um, the beginning part is just regular fraction addition. So I look at my fraction part first, a 5 eighths and a 6 eighths. How many eighth sized pieces will that be? 5 plus 6 will be 11 eighths for my fraction. And then my whole numbers, 12 and 18, will be 30. So now I look over here, I have an improper fraction. I can't leave it that way. So that 11 eighths, let me pull that aside over here. 11 eighths, I need to represent that as a mixed number. So I think, okay, well, how many holes are in here? There's 8 eighths plus 3 eighths. So here's my one hole and my leftover 3 eighths. I take my one whole and I give it to my whole amount over here and then finalize my answer. So this becomes 31 and 3 eighths. So once I am regrouping it over here, I don't look back at this because what I've done is I've taken my 11 eighths and I've rewritten it as one whole and the leftover amount. Okay, write it down. I look at my fractions first. I am adding 5 sevenths and 4 sevenths, so that is going to be 9 sevenths. I add my whole amount, 9 plus 3 is 12. Then I look over here. I can't have an improper fraction as part of it. I need to regroup that and give some of the holes that are in here. I need to give them back to that whole amount. So my 9 sevenths is really like saying 7 sevenths and... 2 sevenths. So if I take this whole amount right here and I give it to my whole amount here, what I have left is 13 and my leftover right here, 13 and 2 sevenths. So that is my final answer. Starting with the fraction, 2 eighths and 6 eighths, that's going to be 8 eighths. It's already a really big clue. Uh, 5 and 3 is 8. What is 8 and 8 eighths? I should automatically know that's already a 1, so I can just regroup that over here, and my final answer will be 9. Okay, this is the last one. doesn't matter what the numbers are. They could be really big, really small. The process is always the same. 
I take my fraction first, so 9 seventeenths and 12 seventeenths, add those together, and I will get 21 seventeenths, and then I add my whole amounts, 23 and 12, will give me 35. I check over here, I can't have an improper fraction, I need to take out the whole amounts that are hiding in there. So how do I do that? I remember that 21 17 is like saying 17 17, that's 1, and whatever's left, 17, 4 17, and then I think, okay, so I'm going to give this 1, I'm going to give that 1 to my whole amount, so now I will have 36, and my leftover is 4 17. So that's how you do it.